Hello, I'm Mike Senna, and today I'm at my favorite uh, robots parts store, the Home Depot, and we're gonna buy Wally Eyes. For the outside housing, we need a three and a half inch to two inch. For the next adapter, we need this two and a half to one and a half. For the third piece, the very inner eye, we need this one and a half by one inch. For the last piece here, we need this coupler. This coupler fits on the inside here, uh, creating this gray piece that's on the inner of the piece of the eye here. Okay, I'm going to pop this lens out so we can see what's happening in this eye. All we see is a series of reducers, the outer one, then we have the inner black one, and then we have this one which makes up the iris. This white piece just makes up this inner uh, piece, inner detail piece on the eye. So on this piece you can see that there's a little lip on the inside. What you need to do is put this on a router and just kind of get rid of this edge here so that it becomes nice and thin like this one. Once you get rid of that lip it'll be it'll look like this. The second piece here is the outer piece here uh, which we do need to remove again this lip on the inside so it's the same thing with the router we need to just take it up against the side and, and route this flush. Reason being is this actually goes in through the back and will pop out the front of this one. So it's like this. This part right here is actually where this lettering is. And this lettering is just a printout of on a laser jet printer or an inkjet printer, I'm sorry. So with this groove cut out here, this piece will be able to pass all the way through it and it will look like this. So on this third piece here, this lip needs to be routed off so that this piece can fit. fits in through this way, but it needs to fit in through this way. So once you get rid of this little lip here, this will push through on this way. Once you get rid of this lip here, this will be able to be pressed through the back. And you'll kind of assemble it like that. Then what's left is cutting a thin piece of this and sanding it down so it can fit in there and then you just push that piece in. So the thickness of it is, is about uh, that much. Once you push that in there that will give you that piece. And that's how you make a Wally Eye from Home Depot. Okay, so I have my pieces of plexiglass here and I have my template that I made. It's just pieces of MDF screwed together. Put my plexiglass in between. So what it says here, because I did it before, is I'm going to put it in my oven for 325 degrees for 15 minutes. Then what I'm going to do is take my pie that I put my reducers on already. When it comes fresh out of the oven, I'm going to stick it on top of that and apply vacuum, sucking in and doing a concave of the heated plastic. Okay, 15 minutes has passed, so we're going to pull this out and do the vacuum for it. And there we have the lens. So we're going to make one more. We're going to spend exactly the same amount of time so we get the exact same pull, and we'll be done. 